I want to show you how to quickly create a podcast highlight clip thumbnail like the Joe Rogan experience. On the screen, I have the JRE Clips YouTube channel sorted by most popular. There's a couple basic things that translate throughout most of their thumbnails that we're going to key into and recreate in our own thumbnail coming up. Here's what I want to point out. On the left of the frame, they use the host, Joe Rogan. On the right of the frame, they use the guest. Both of the expressions right here are something that is animated. It's not like a dull facial expression. In the middle of the frame, what we get is a photo representation of what they're talking about. The biggest thing to point out here, though, is look at the color scheme of these most popular video clips on their channel. There are only two thumbnails that use a border color of red. Right here, the second most viewed, and this one down here in the corner. Most of these thumbnails are green. I will say in most marketing circumstances, in my opinion, red is a great color because it's vibrant, it's bright. People can see that from far away. And a good example of this is a stop sign. It's red for a reason. People are drawn towards the color red. The problem here is, with red on YouTube, YouTube is branded with red, black, and white. So their accent color is red. If you use red on your thumbnail, it's going to get lost in the recommended, suggested, and search. It's not going to pop as much as, say, this neon green that they have going on. And you can tell that over time, they've experimented with different colors. And I did say neon there, so they were trying this like purple uh, a year ago. But as you can see, this green is really popping for them. So that's the reason why they are sticking with a border color of green. Another thing to point out, they don't over use their accent color. It's just used as a border. There is one thumbnail right here where they use the green to segment the two guests, but notice that they don't really do that anymore. It boils down to how big can you scale up the face of the host and the guest in relation to that photo in the center to make it pop and recognizable among all of the other thumbnails on YouTube. So when going over to Photoshop, we're gonna keep this in mind. In Photoshop, we're gonna need something that's 16 by nine to fit the YouTube thumbnail. So we're gonna go to Create New, and in this new document window that pops up, go to Film and Video, and right here over to the left is HDTV 1920 by 1080. If these options aren't available to you, all you really need to do is type in 1920 by 1080. My resolution is 72 pixels per inch, Hit create. That leaves us with a blank canvas. This is a still image that I'm going to be using for my own podcast. This episode was with Kelly G. Fit. She's a fitness instructor. Uneyeball my background. Just move it over to the side like this. The next part is to pull my image in. I don't know if they're going to complement each other, but we'll find out. The easiest way to create these thumbnails is through clipping masks. Click on the rectangle tool, double click in my canvas. Now it's going to say create a rectangle and I'm going to do half of 1920 by 1080. 1920 divided by two is 960. So I'm going to have my width be 960 by height 1080. And I'll move this over to this part right here and line it up like that. As you can see from the pink on the screen, it is exactly over to the left 50%. Now I'm going to take my still image of the host, drag it above my rectangle, right click and say create clipping mask. Now my host image is bound by that rectangle. Just to show you what's going on, I can go to my selection tool and move my image, but it will only show through where that rectangle is, as you can see here, which is perfect because now I can pull in any image that I want to and stay to that same format where I take up 50% of the frame and the guest takes up 50% of the frame. Just to show you what's going on with that rectangle, as I move the rectangle, it would move what's showing through. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to use a royalty-free website called pexels.com just to look up something fitness-wise. Drag my image on, and now we wanna create that neon green border. We're going to click our image, go to effects, and hit stroke. As you can see, it creates a stroke around and we want to change that to a neon green color. And just like that, we have created a Joe Rogan style thumbnail.
I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If it was, leave me a thumbs up. And if you like my teaching style, you could hit that subscribe button so we can see each other more. Until next video, I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. And maybe you could click one of these other videos on the screen. All right, guys, I'll see you later.